Hi everybody, PJ here and uh, it's too bloody warm to be outside once again it overheats my iPad and my camera and all sorts of things like that but never mind, I can live with that <laughs> Right, today's video today's video is an absolute giggle we've got some kind of robot that comes out to us in a bit well, it looks a bit like a robot or I don't know, he's got all sorts of weird gear on him, but we'll see him in a bit anyway. Watch further down the video and you'll see him. Right, I'm at British Steel at Scunthorpe and initially one of the security guards comes out and tells me that I can't video. Now there's no signs to say anything's private. Uh, I've not gone past a barrier or anything like that, but he insists that the piece of land that I'm stood on is private and I'm not allowed to video there. So. Let's have a look at him and see how we get on, shall we? Now we've got somebody here who wants to come and talk to us, I think. How you doing? You're not allowed to record on here, mate. I'm not on here. Yeah, you're technically on site here. You're yeah, but this, here, this, this bit here has public access. There's no, nothing that... No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. There's no, uh, there's no barriers or anything up there. No, that's Stores Lane. This is actually private property. They don't say it's private property, mate. It's from where that bollard is, it's actually private property, mate. Right. Right. So you'll have to go back up there, mate. You can't record on here. Uh, yeah, of course I can. Yeah, you can. Well, this is, it's open to the public, so the public can come up and down. It's not open to the public, mate. It's, I can't hear you, mate, with that thing on your face. It's not open to the public at all. It's private property. You're not allowed it on it. No, it's anyway. not fenced off, barriered off or anything, mate. It doesn't have to be, this is for employees to get on site. It's private property. You're actually on private property right now. Right. So you have to go back to them, please. Right, and then you're going to tell me I still can't video? You can video on the main road all you want, but you can't video on here. Well, I'm already videoing on here. Well, you shouldn't be videoing here, you can't go up there. Uh, so, where up there have I got to go, according to you? See that red bollard there, in the middle of the road. The what, sorry? In the middle of the road, there's like a, there's like a cone in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. It had to be past there. All right. Off, off private property. Right. All right, yeah. All right, yeah. OK. So after the first guy comes out, a different guy comes out, and he has to go at me, telling me, you can't video! You can't video, it's private property. Go up there. Let's have a look. You can't film here. You what? You can't film here. You're not allowed to film, you've got to go. You're on private property, mate. You can't film here. Yeah, I'm going up there in a minute, Doc. Yeah, well, well... And during this conversation, he comes out with the usual thing, you can't video, and if you don't go, I'm going to phone the police. <laughs> Everybody wants to phone the police. The police must have nothing to do but come and see people with deadly cameras. You're going to have to move on or we're going to call the police. Yeah, you can call police, Dick, that's no problem. Well, are you going to move then? You're on private property. Yeah, phone the police, that's fine. Right, OK, fine. If you want to get arrested, mate... I'll... Oh, what am I going to get arrested for? It's your <clears throat> yeah, but that's trespass. You have to leave private property and you refuse that's... it. That's... Are you not leaving now then? We're not that's... asking you. I'm talking to you. He, 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 he not that trespass is not a criminal yeah, offence, mate. Yes, because it is. Of course it isn't. All it's right, a civil offence. See what the police have to say then. Yeah, mate. all right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Eventually he leaves, but as he's leaving, this other guy turns up. Well, I think it's a, a bloke. <laughs> it's a bit hard to tell with all the stupid gear he's got on. Uh, and wait while you see him. He looks like... Uh, Looks like some kind of robot. Is he a cyborg or is he a security guard? How you doing, Doc? Hiya, sir. You do realise you're on private property? Yeah, so they've just told me. Yes. So he tries to tell me, or insists on telling me, that this is private property and uh, you're not allowed to video from here. Now, the first guy said I need to go up to the ballards. This guy's telling me I need to go back up to the traffic lights, which is even further up. Uh, 
come on, make your mind up, lads. You know, let's kind of sort things out between us. Where does the uh, property line start and where does it end? We need to know. So you can't be recording on private property? Why can't I? Because it's private property, sir. You're not recording off pro public property. Right. So he keeps insisting that uh, it is private property. Now, in actual fact, there's more than British Steel that use that entrance. There are other companies on site. So, technically, it's not private property. It's not exclusively owned by British Steel. Other companies on site have access down this road, which means it's public access. But I'm not going to argue with him over that. You know, it's, it's, it's pointless. Because no matter what I say, this guy ain't going ain't to listen to me. No way. But it's open to the public, this. No, it isn't. This belongs to British Steel. Right. Up at the lights is public. Well, he's just told me that that uh, red ballard up there is public. No, it's from the lights down. That's British Steel land. Right. So, is there a reason why you won't go back up to the lights? I'm just trying to get a bit of footage, mate. I don't no. see what your... Uh, you can do it from I, the lights. I don't, see, I don't see what your problem is. Do you think I'm trying to... Steal a cooling tower right. or... Uh... You cannot film on private property. That's the, that's the ruling, okay? If you wanted to take photos, you, you can do from the lights or along the footpath onto the site, that's fine. But at the moment, you are on site, which means you're not allowed to take He's got a body-worn camera on him and I say, are you recording me? And he says, not at the moment, but if I need to, I will do. He says, well, if you video me, then I want a copy of that video. He says, you can't have one. I says, yeah, I can. You know, if that camera's owned by the company, then I can have a copy of it. But uh, he says, you're going to have to jump through loads of different hoops to get a copy of this video if you really, really want one. And? Actually, uh, are you recording time. me? Not at the moment, but if okay. you can keep up this situation, sir, I will start photo. All right, OK, no, that's fine. If you do start recording me, then I want a copy of it. We don't give copies out, sir. You've got to. You'd have to go through the security se section at British Steel Security. To if you start... It. Is that so I ask him a couple of questions and he won't answer me and he's still trying to get me off site. And I said, look, you know, uh, I've almost finished, I'm going. I said, but if I go up there, I'm going up as far as those ballards, like your uh, other chap told me. I'm not going to go all the way up to the top, you know, where the traffic lights are. Your first man said, it's private property from those ballards and that'll do me. Because, obviously, between you, you can't make your minds up where the property line starts. So, I will choose. Simple as that. Does that belong to you or does that belong to the company? This, I'm not saying at the moment, sir. Well, if that belongs to the company, then I can demand a copy you, of that, it. Like I said, you'd have to go through the British yeah, that's security fine. for that. That's fine. Because we can't just give it out. That's fine. But, but you can't, you, you cannot you deny me. You have to move me. off the site, sir. Yeah, I'm going in a minute, Dad. I've almost done. That right? Yeah, I've almost done it. So, can you start moving up to the lights then, please, sir? Well, uh, um, if I go up there, I'm not going up as far as the lights. I'm going up as far as that red ballard that you told me. So, right, if you make your way then, sir. Yeah, I'm All just right. going to get a bit more footage, about two more minutes and I'm gone, then. No, you're going to have to go now, sir. Oh, this is how pathetic this guy is. I said, is that a, a Weybridge there? And he says, I'm not telling you anything. I said, is it a government secret? I'm not telling you anything. <laughs> it must be the programming in his head, you know, when he finishes at the end of the shift and the recharging his batteries and updating the software, it needs updating a little bit more, I think. 
Is that a way bridge you've got there? I'm not telling you what it is, sir. <laughs> Why well, is it a government secret? I'm not telling you what it is, sir. It's a government secret. I'm then. not saying. You're not saying. Okay. All right, Mr. Nelson. All right. <laughs> you are so funny, all of you. Yeah, well... You know, you think that uh, I'm trying to do something with criminal intent and all I am is just a guy with a camera. And then he starts going on about you committing an offence and I said, it's a civil offence. He says, I know that. I says, well, your other security guard seems to think that it's a criminal offence. I said, you need to explain to him the difference between uh, trespass being a civil offence and a criminal offence because obviously uh, when he did his security training he weren't listening on that section. <laughs> well you are at, at the moment trespass. Right, which is a civil offence, not a criminal yeah, offence. Yeah, not civil. Yeah, he seems to think it's a criminal right. offence, you know mate? That's alright, that's alright. So all right. you need to explain that to him. Yeah. And that's when you come down from the traffic lights you are on private property. Yeah. Okay. Well, according to your friend, it's that ballard. It's all right, we'll sort him. All right. Okay. Yeah, okay, out, mate. So just to try and find a, a little bit more information before I left, I asked him a couple more questions. Nah, he ain't going to answer any more questions. You know, like, I can see there's great big silos and cooling towers and things there. And all I do is I ask him what they're for. I'm telling you, Nothing. So, uh, what's with the big silos? Oh, I'm not telling you anything, sir. You are still trespassing, and I'd like you to move off. All right, if I go up there, will you come and tell me what they are? No, I'm not going to tell you anything, sir. Why? OK, and I'm going to ask you now to stop recording, or else I'm going to start recording. All right, OK. Eventually, he turns his body-worn camera on. <laughs> like, that's a threat. Like, yeah, and? You've got your camera on. Big deal. Now, I just uh, wondered what the big secret was. I just really wondered what the big secret is. So, do you want to move away, sir, please? All right, Dad. You've been asked numerous occasions now. Okie doke. <laughs> now, I've been asking him questions and he's been refusing to answer. So he says, sir, Oh, and can I have your name as well, please, sir? Yeah, like I'm going to give it. If he won't answer any questions, why on earth should I? And can I ask for your name, sir? You can ask, yeah, because you can. And what is your name, sir? I didn't say I was going to give it, yeah. All right, that's fine. I, I've asked that's far, as, as much as I can do. It is. All right, so I'm asking you again to move off. Yeah, I'm going to... Obviously not going to get any help here, am I? No. So much for British Steel, eh? So... I thought, I thought there was please, supposed to be a forward-thinking company. I'm not saying a thing, can you move away? You know what, you are saying a thing, you keep saying, can you move away? So you are saying something. Well, you're, you're, you're trespassing, sir, so... Yeah. I'm kindly asked you on numerous occasions. Yeah, but like I said, this here, Joe this Public can it. walk right. down here. I mean, I say to the guy, I've had, actually had access onto site. I made a wrong turn, drove through security, <laughs> drove around the site a bit, and then drove out. And nobody said a word to me because I didn't have a deadly camera in my hand. But because I'm stood there with a camera, you know, taking a few photos and a bit of video, they're going absolutely crazy. And yet, they let me straight through the barrier, no problem at all when I was in my car. So, can you understand that? No security checks or anything. I didn't have a camera then, though. If I weren't videoing, you wouldn't say a word to me. I'd walk down here and back out. In fact, I turned down here with the car yeah. the other day. You said you was going up. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm just, can I'm you just telling you. To I came down here the other day, took a wrong turning, went round the back of the security and drove back out again. Nobody said a word to me. As soon as I turn up with a camera, you're all unreal. So, <laughs> I'll tell you how crazy this guy is. Right, I say to him, right, I'm going, um, are you going to walk up with me? And he says, no, and then starts walking up the road with me. <laughs> I'm not going to walk up there with you. 
and then does exactly the opposite. Can you understand the man? Are, are you going to now? Yeah, come on, we'll on, walk please. up together. You're going to walk up with me? Thank you. You're walking up with me? Right. As we're walking up the road, he says, can you take your camera off me? I said, it's not on you, it's in my hand. He says, it looks like it's on me. Well, it might have been filming him, but it wasn't actually on him, if you know what I mean. Not physically, anyway. Take your camera off me as well, sir. Are you walking up with me? No. You're not? What are you doing? Go up a little bit, just to make sure you go up and then let's All right, OK, you're yeah, walking okay. up with me, then. And take your camera off me. My camera's not on you. Looks like it, sir. No, it's in my hand. It's not on you. I might be filming, but it's certainly not on you. Right. OK, keep going off then, sir. All right, mate. Well, I think I'm about done anyway. OK. All right. Yeah. OK. You're absolutely crazy, honestly, mate. You really are. All Sorry. lot of you. You're absolutely crazy. Right, see you later. See you now. Have a good day. Yep. That's another aeroplane coming in. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it or not. Anyway, uh, I do leave the site. Wish him a good day, you know, have a nice day and, and everything else. And that's where the video concludes. It was too windy to get the drone up that day, so I didn't bother. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, please share, please subscribe, and I'll see you there in the next one. Catch you later.